Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Eric and I'm with the Hollow Herald. Today we're going to be doing a quick video. We're going to be doing gaming on the HoloLens versus gaming on a TV. And we're going to be using the Xbox One to test this. You can use other uh, other platforms, but we're just going to test it with the uh, the Xbox. So um, we're just going to start off with a couple tests. We're going to do a side by side comparison. I'll have my TV right here. I'll have uh, this the Xbox streaming to the HoloLens right up there. And then we'll do a couple pros and cons of each of them and what they're capable of and just a little bit of a synopsis for all you gamers out there. Uh, so I guess let's get right into it. Alright, first we're just going to start off with some simple uh, menu management. Like I said, I'm going to be playing on the Xbox One. We're going to be using the Xbox One app to be streaming from the Xbox One to my router upstairs to my HoloLens and that's gonna be like an external monitor basically. So if you guys can see I've got um I've got the the TV right here and the streamed version of it right here. This is a 1080p TV and this is gonna be a 720p recording, that's the resolution. Both of them should be about 60 frames a second. Since we're recording with the uh since we're recording while we're doing this through the HoloLens, the, the frame rate's probably gonna drop down to closer to like 40 or something just because recording takes a lot of processing power because we're also going through the Wi-Fi and back through. So uh, take a lot of the recording stuff with a grain of salt. It's always a lot better and a lot faster when you're not recording. So we're just gonna do simple uh, walking through the menu. You can see, I'll go ahead and I'll hold this up and I'll, I'll hit her. You can see that it's, um, it's pretty responsive. I mean, a second or two of delay, not bad. Uh, I've got the screens about the same size right now for just processing power and stuff like that, but not not too bad. It looks like we just ended the round on Battlefield 1. Um, we'll, it looks like it's loading another one, so we'll, we'll let, go ahead and start that, let that load. So it the menu handles just fine, resolutions, like I said, 720p, so probably about a little bit better than, the frame rate's a little bit higher, so I'm going to say it's probably about 360, uh, not 360, it's going to be about uh, Xbox 360 capabilities, but um, it's probably, yeah, it's closer to gaming on the Xbox 360 than it is like you're replicating the one, but the graphics aren't bad, response rate's not bad, um, hopefully we can get the game in here going real quick. All right, looks like we got a quick game. We got a game going up of Battlefield One, and we're just gonna run around a little bit. I have the graphics setting on high on the Hololens right now, so you can actually I can show you. You can hover up over here and you can select the quality. Actually, probably uh, medium's probably best while we're recording with the Hololens. But you can go up to Harry. You can even go up to very high. It's just a little bit slower frame rate. So when I'm playing, when you watch me play, I'm going to be playing off of watching the the HoloLens feed, not the TV downstairs. I'm not the TV right below it. Uh, so you can see my response rate's not bad. Uh, you can probably see. I mean, it's it's. I mean, I'm not a big gamer, so it's not a super big detriment for me. I mean, you're not going to be wanting playing CS:GO with that lag, but I mean, it's not a big deal for this. Let's see if we can get this guy. Looks like I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I died. But uh, Battlefield One has beautiful graphics, so I guess I could talk for a second about the graphics. Uh, graphics definitely look better on the TV. Like, I mean, that's kind of an under. I mean, to be expected, though. Let's see if we can get this guy. And got him. Um, so I mean, I mean, I could still get kills. I'm not very good at this game. I'm not very good at any game. But I mean, I can. You can still get kills. It's totally doable. Uh, yeah, definitely. The TV might look a little bit blown out through the HoloLens, and the HoloLens isn't going to be recording in 3D, so uh, you're not going to be able to get you know the full effect of everything. Now we can do a little bit of some combat. So I can hold my controller up here to the side while I play, so you guys can kind of see the lag difference. And this is on medium graphics settings. I'll go ahead and I'll see even while I'm gaming, I can just go up and click. Let's go ahead and switch it to high. My 
so my frame rate was totally fine there everything was great bump it up to high I mean they look a lot closer now I mean you're not gonna see the fine details in the sand or whatever I, I'd ache in it to slightly better than 360 gaming but uh, definitely not as crystal clear as the Xbox one on the on the TV this game has beautiful graphics looks like we're running into some network quality problems which is to be expected when we're trying to record and uh, play a game over the network and someone's probably watching Netflix on it so like you can see I'm still getting kills and stuff so doesn't hamper gameplay graphics fine fine for me for a non-serious gamer uh, yeah looks looks good I'd give it a probably an 8 out of 10 uh, when recording when it's not recording no difference totally the same as gaming on a normal Xbox you know alright guys we're gonna do one of our first pros to playing on the HoloLens uh, you can just see right now how big of a screen I'm playing on I mean it takes up almost my whole wall and I mean it runs just fine it's huge so, uh, like I said, I'm not very good at the, ga the game, so if it happens to do with something, it's not. You notice we do have the lights turned off. The, ho the HoloLens looks kind of like a projector. It looks a little bit better in the, uh, in the dark, but it's not a big deal. You can play with the lights on, still, still not a big deal. But I mean, just look how large this screen is. We can even go up and make it bigger, maybe. There we go. Let's make it bigger. You know, we're just going to make it as big as we possibly can. I don't think I can get back far enough. Done. Alright, so I, I literally cannot get back far enough. That's how big it is. And it's going to be slightly laggy, but I think that's mostly to the recording. Due to that we're recording, if we weren't recording right now, I mean, you could play just fine. I mean, it is massive. I mean, I, I mean, I, I can't even see the whole thing. I have to look around from part to part because the FOV isn't quite big enough to handle it. But I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, I can see that guy way out there. I'm not very good at this game. But, uh, I mean, it is the size of that wall over there. And it would go bigger, but it's just going to start clipping. I don't, my room's not big enough. You can see I get revived. Run around. Go, let's see if we can cap A. Ah, uh, see, I can switch guns fast enough. But, uh, yeah, so I guess that's our first benefit. You can just take, I mean, just take a look at how big that screen is. I mean, that's insane. That's got to be, I don't know, that's a 40-inch screen down there that I was playing on earlier. This is like 10 of the, I mean, this is like 5 of those put together. So I, this is, this is massive. Obviously way bigger than I would ever need. But, I mean, if I had a bigger room, it would be kind of cool. Alright, now we're going to discuss benefit number two, uh, lounging and gaming. So my TV is over there and I have a couch set up for it, but sometimes I wish I could just lay in my bed and play. Uh, now I have the option to just be able to play wherever I go, really. I can lay in my bed, I can hang out here, I can walk around. We'll probably do that one in a second. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. So let's say I'm done, I like, I wanna... I'm playing on my bed and I'm kinda having fun, but... Ugh, I have to meet with somebody in my office real quick, so, but I don't want to leave my game. I can just click adjust, and I can pick it up, and let's go ahead and go over to my office. Looks like I died. Let's go ahead and flip on the office light. I didn't plan this, so it's not going to look as good, but let's go ahead, I can grab it. I can open it up in here. Can go ahead and open it up over in here real quick. And I got it over here. I think I'm actually probably running it in two instances. I'm probably running it over there too, so it's probably going to be extra slow. But now I'm in my office, I'm doing my office thing done and just like that I'm back to gaming but yeah easy as that uh, 
I just got up, walked over here, opened the app, threw it up right here, and now I'm gaming in here. I could take it upstairs, I could take it anywhere theoretically as long as I'm within Wi-Fi distance. So now we can discuss some of the cons to wearing the HoloLens. We talked about how cool it was. Um, we talked about how cool it was, but there definitely are some cons. Probably the major con is the HoloLens isn't the most comfortable thing in the world. Uh, it wears... Um, if you don't have the headband that goes across your head, it sits kind of heavy on your nose. Not something you would want to wear for a prolonged game experience without the headband. With the headband though, I could see it getting pretty comfortable actually. Also, battery life, you know. Uh, you've only probably got an hour or two out of the battery on that thing. Number three, the graphics are, no matter if I, how good I say the graphics are, they're not gonna be as good as the TV. They're, that's just, that's just a granted. And this isn't even the best TV. Even if you had a better TV, it's not gonna be quite as good as the TV. Uh, lag, it's a little bit there. I wouldn't call it a detriment though, unless you're a hardcore gamer. Um, audio, audio was actually totally fine on the HoloLens. Uh, it's got the omnidirectional uh, speakers, so it just blasts it right into your ears. Sounds kind of cool, surround sound like you're wearing a headset. Not bad at all. Um, uh, with surround sound though, it does definitely enhance the gameplay. In conclusion, HoloLens was pretty good for gaming actually, in my opinion. I am a casual gamer, so something like this is totally viable to me. Uh, as a hardcore gamer, not quite there yet. I could see a couple improvements before it was completely ready for that. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video or if you have any other video ideas, please comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. If you guys would game with the HoloLens, what games would you guys try or how would you use it? Do you guys have a big enough room where you could actually use the entire HoloLens space or what would you guys do with it? Uh, do you think this is something that in the future we could see? Uh, and uh, comment, like, subscribe. Follow us on Twitter at the Hollow Herald and check us out on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.